Well, post-viral fatigue, it's a normal experience to have when anybody is recovering from a viral infection. So many people do experience some form of fatigue as a normal part of their recovery. It's just that some people experience prolonged fatigue, which can start to become worrying when they see no observable signs of, of improvement. That normally recovers within weeks, but then some people do experience more persistent uh, symptoms of, of fatigue, which then starts to look like uh, a condition that is not going to re resolve within within a matter of weeks. And that that's the situation where people can sometimes be quite limited for, for months before they start to recover. Well, that's what's worrying now is we are starting to see media reports of people presenting with more persistent forms of fatigue that also comes with other symptoms of pain and generalised weakness. It's prevent, preventing them from doing even some of the basic daily tasks that we all need to do to look after ourselves. Then when that's coupled with things like sleep disturbance and cognitive difficulties, and even mood disturbance creates a situation which is very distressing for people. If they don't get the proper support and advice, it can actually lead to then a more persistent experience. So people start to struggle in some ways where they didn't need to, had they have had the support in those early days. Well, people can, can be referred by the healthcare practitioner that they work with and can self-refer, and you simply go through the official website um, for that referral. What's less known just now is because we're working remotely, we're not limited by geographical location. So although we're predominantly known for delivering services across Edinburgh and the Lothians, we're opening our doors to people across Scotland.